Hello boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. So the point of making today's video is Mac OS Big Sur has released. I wanted to update to Mac OS Big Sur, but a little bit concerned about my build type and stuff. Since the Mac OS Big Sur being the one the one of the latest software for the latest Mac. So that I, I decided to make this video, you know. Uh, what I'll do is I will run this project, uh, I will run my own person uh, personal project that I'm working on. I will show you the build time on Catalina, then I will update to macOS Mixer. Then after that, uh, I will run the project once again on Mixer. And I will show you a possible uh, difference in build time and stuff. And I will, uh, while updating and while uh, running the project on the Mixer for first time, if I face any issue, I will let you know, know about that as well. Okay, let's start. So. Uh, here is my current state of my computer. So, uh, currently my uh, storage and macOS is Mac OS, MacBook Air 2017 model, 8 GB of RAM, and 120 GB of storage. Pretty standard and pretty basic at the moment. So I will show you my Flutter status right now. So I am currently I'm I'm gonna speed this video up. I've already pre-recorded this entire video. I'm just uh, commentating on my own videos. So as you can see over here, I've been showing this Android Studio error plugin, which is not a big deal. I think this is the issue with the Flutter channel 1.22. Anyway, uh, so the my project is it uh, lives in the external storage that is in my uh, Samsung T5 SSD storage. I'm going to quickly show you the current size of my project to show you the scope of this testing so that it could you could relate to your own project. Let me run the flutter run. Uh, I hope that error in busy okay, copying cache is not going to be a big issue. So, as you can see over here, I, uh, export build was done in 52 seconds, company linking sign in took like 25 seconds, and the waiting for iPhone is 5 milliseconds, and installing and launching on the iPhone is like 20.8 seconds. Uh, you have to note that this project, I've already been working on this project, so I'm not considering the download time that takes on the first project first build of the application. So let's see how we can update to Mac OS Big Sur. I think we should go to support. And if we go to Mac, and I think ah, in Mac OS I found the possible uh, steps to update. So the comparability list for the Mac OS Big Sur was pretty huge. I'm, I'm completely amazed by it. It goes up to 2013 model of Mac Air, not to mention the MacBook Pro, you know. So that's it, I can download it. So basically what I did was I went to the setting and in the software update, a particular update was showing. So the size was approx 12.18 GB. So great. Uh, can we talk a little bit about Big Sur? I don't think we need to talk about it. I think everybody knows whoever is watching this video or else you can watch another video who has done Larger, larger review or larger in-depth review of Big Sur by themselves. I'm not gonna do that. So I'm gonna download it. I'm gonna see you, and uh, on the Big Sur. So I have updated the Big Sur. So this is macOS Big Sur version 11.0.1, running on Mac 13-inch 2017 model, 1.8 gigahertz of deep core into R5. So let me run the terminal. I'm gonna run the project on terminal because uh, somebody is, uh, some of you might be using. Visual Core, some of you might be using IntelliJ or Android Studio. I don't know why, but <laughs> you might be using those. So I'm going to run on terminal so that uh, this my thorough testing becomes applicable to every one of you. <laughs> I'm going to run the Flutter Docker once again. Okay, it is taking some time. So it's the same issue with the Android Studio plugin. I don't know why it's showing. I think it in the beta channel or dev channel it was resolved now. I hope we will get this on our stable version soon. So if we go to, to LS Hyphen MTL, do Flutter Run, Verbos, oh, no, 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 <laughs> we're going to do Flutter Run. We, I'm not, we, we are not bothered with the long list of Verbos block. So, uh, so time difference is not much though. It's like 21, 45, 37. Uh, in some cases, the build was, I think we should say that it was the same issue. Though. So one of the issue I faced was iProxy cannot be uh, open because the developer cannot be verified. 
So for this, I have done these changes to run my Flutter project. I will be linking down in. Uh, I will be uh, writing down in the description as well. You can go. Uh, uh, you can use those description to solve this issue if you face that again. So uh, if we talk a little bit of a mixer, I think the major changes is in the menu bar. As you can see over here, it has some rounded edges, higher border, and this Wi-Fi and Bluetooth thing. I, I really liked it. Uh, you can there's a clear indicator of connected and not connected. And this is like a notification or control panel of our iPhone. And if you click on the corner, it will show entire widget that has been configured on your iPhone. So that's it. Uh, if you go on uh, VS Code, we're gonna see menu. Uh, same as menu, same as the home, but a uh, little bit different. Uh, not much has changed. I did like the finders uh, entire view though. Uh, talking about storage, uh, I did face a lot of issues because the download size was 12 GB. Then additional installation size required was 40 GB. I didn't have that much space on my system. So I had to do some uh, moving of files and stuff. And I ended up reinstalling the entire Mac on my new hard drive. As you can see over here, in the Pixel, we really get school wallpapers. <laughs> I really liked it. I, I like the other tools, but I like the default one. Uh, so that's it. I think uh, this video is uh, very useful, uh, has, become, has been useful to you. So the uh, build time for both the system is same. Uh, do, uh, do not expect any performance improvement or performance degra degradation. Uh, my my Blue is 2017 model. I don't think it's a powerful system, but it's a capable system. And the build time was fairly similar to my previous Catalina. I'm very happy with it. I didn't expect uh, any future issues as well. So uh, if you have any specific question, please comment down below. And one, uh, one thing you can do is, uh, you have seen my build time, if you are using Mac Pro or better device than mine, uh, I should say faster device than mine, then you can uh, share your build time as well. Okay, uh, okay, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if, you haven't, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. It means a lot, give it a like, and that's it. Thank you.